Former President Olusegun Obasanjo has said Nigeria risks impending bankruptcy over the continuous accumulation of debt by the government. He said things might get worse economically as Nigeria, as well as other African countries, kept piling up debt, saying he was worried for the future generations who would pay such loans. The ex-president said this on Friday as in Lagos as a keynote speaker at the Why Am I Alive campaign. Let me state at the onset that using debt to finance growth or development is a double-edged sword that must be wielded with a high degree of discipline, responsibility, and foresight. A well-calibrated -cal debt for infrastructure and other developmental goals could be very positive. However, we do not need to speculate we need to examine our historical experience. Everyone knows that our governments are notoriously deficient in serious and adequate discipline, and most often lack competence and consistency as well. We borrowed to build a light rail in Lagos, embarked on the project and a, a succeeding governor abandoned the project for his full term of four years at 65% completion, when he should, have been, he should have started paying down on the loan. This light rail is important for the whole of Nigeria, not only with respect to man hours of GDP that will have continued to be saved, but also because such loans are normally federally gar guaranteed. So it is a loan to be paid by all Nigerians. The problem is not limited to the states. The federal government built a nice looking extension to the Murtala Mohammed International Airport that looks completed from outside, but not in service to rob a boneki on the injury. Some clowns are talking of demolishing the main airport and rebuild from scratch. Where on earth is a poor country wasting resources that way? Procuring debt in the first instance requires a clarity on the purpose which must be linked with the ability to repay principal and interest as and when due. Defaulting on repayment is very easy and if you like, very convenient. For in equal measure, it seems that creditors take special delight in debtors' inability to service debt. Delinquent behavior allowed the opportunity to impose stipulated sanctions and later appear friendly by offering to restructure your debt. At the end of the day, what is done is simply to add your interest payments and other fees to the principal sum at a high premium. So, overnight, a debt of $1 million will become $5 million, in spite of the fact that over time you had paid $1.2 million. I say this without fear of contradiction. I have borrowed from banks as a private sector operator, and I borrowed from multilateral institutions as a political leader for the country. So I believe you will understand my fears and experience about jumbo loans and my agony in getting rid of our external debts and developing a sustainable approach to address our domestic debts. 